logarithms, and exponential equations. First, we're going to solve logarithmic equations, then we're going to solve exponential equations, and then I'm going to show you how to solve them using your calculator. First, let's remember back to our last video where we were changing logs into exponents, and we're going to use the fact that y equals the log base b of x means b to the y equals x. So if we look at the first one, this is the same as saying the base b to the second equals x. So 25 equals x. The next one is the same thing. It's b to the third equals 64. And it turns out that b has to be 4 because b, because 4 to the third is 64. And finally, we have 3 to the y equals 9. Well, y has to equal 2 because 3 squared is 9. Let's make a quick look at the laws of logarithms. The first one says, when you multiply, it's the same thing as adding. So an example would be the log base 4 of 15 is the same thing as the log base 4 of 5 plus the log base 4 of 3 because 5 times 3 is 15. When we divide, we subtract. An example would be the log base 3 of 50 over 2 is the same thing as the log base 3 of 50 minus the log base 3 of 2. Whenever we have an exponent, we actually pull it out front. An example of that would be the log base 7 of 10 to the third is 3 times log base 7 of 10. You see we pulled it out front. And then finally, the log base b of 1 over m is the same thing as log base b of m to the negative 1, is the same thing as negative 1 log base b of m. The reason is, is that this negative 1 pops out front. If we look at this part right here, 1 over m is the same thing as m to the negative 1. So that's how we get this right here. Or it could be just negative log base b of m. And here's our example. We have 1 over 8 which is the same thing as 8 to the negative 1. Pull the negative 1 out front, which gives us negative 1 log base 11 of 8. Or we just don't write the 1, we just say negative log base 11 of 8. Solve log base 3 of 6 equals log base 3 of 3 plus the log base 3 of x. Well, hopefully you remember that when we add, it's the same thing as multiplying. So the left side will stay the same, and then we'll have the log base 3 of 3 times x, which is just 3x. Now you'll notice that we have log base 3 and log base 3. Since those are the same, we could say 6 equals 3x. When we divide by 3, it turns out that x equals 2. Now for this one, we want to get x by itself, so we're simply going to divide by the log of 2. This one doesn't have anything fancy in it, so x is the log of 16 over the log of 2. Now this isn't the log of 8. It doesn't work like that. And when you put it into your calculator, it turns out that we have 4. So x equals 4. I want you to try this one. So press pause, solve it, and play to see the solution. So let's get started. One thing we know is that when we add, we multiply. So this is the same thing as log base 7 of 7 times 2, which is 14. And once again, when we add, we multiply. So we have log base 7 of x times 5x minus 3. Now since we have log base 7 and log base 7, they're the same, we can simply say 14 equals x times 5x minus 3. And now we're going to solve as usual, make it equal to 0. We're going to factor. So when we solve this, we end up getting x equals negative 7 fifths and then x equals 2. Well, we haven't discussed this much, but we can't have the log of a negative number. So I know that this cannot be a solution. So it turns out my answer is just 2. When we solve this one, remember we have an addition, which means multiplication. So when we take x plus 1 times x minus 1, it's x squared minus 1. Now what we're going to do is what we learned previous, that we're going to have 2 to the third equals x squared minus 1. 2 to the third is 8. We want it equal to 0. And then we factor it. And we get x to equal 3. And we get x to equal negative 3. Now when we look up here, 
If I put negative 3 in here, it just makes a bigger negative number. So negative 3 is not the answer. But I'm going to make a note here on the side. Let's say it was, oh, the log base 2 of 9 plus x. If we get negative 3 as an answer, it's going to work here because 9 minus 3 is 7. And that's still a positive answer. So just because it comes out to be negative 3 doesn't mean automatically it's not going to work. You always have to put it back into the equation. Natural log works exactly the same. So when I'm subtracting, it's the same thing as division. So I'm going to have the natural log of x over x minus 4 equals the natural log of 3. Well, with this one, natural log is the same thing as natural log. So we have x over x minus 4 equals 3. I love to cross multiply when I have a fraction. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I have 3 times x minus 4 equals x. 3x minus 12 equals x. I want to solve for x, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And when I divide, it turns out that x equals 6. Let's continue solving. Remember, when I have a number out here, that was once up here, right? Because if the number, if we have an exponent, pops out front. So let's rewrite this. We have the log base 4 of x to the third equals log base 4 of 4. Now you notice that we have the same log base 4, so we'll just write x to the 1 third equals 4. To get rid of a third, I'm just going to cube both sides. So it turns out that x equals 64, and that's our solution. I want you to try this one. So press pause, solve it, and play to see the solution. So let's get started. Just like the last one, this is going to pop out front, or pop to the back, to be the exponent. So we're going to have log base 2 of 5 to the 7x. Just like the last one, it's going to pop over here. So we have log base 2 of 5 to the 3x, and again, plus log base 2 of 25 to the 1 half. If I stop for a second right here, 25 to the 1 half is the same thing as log base 2 of 5. Okay, so log base 2, log base 2, log base 2. So we're going to have 5 to the 7x equals 5 to the 3x times 5 to the first. Remember, when we add, we multiply. Well, what we're going to do here is when we multiply, we add the exponents. So we'll have 5 to the 7x equals 5 to the 3x plus 1. Now, since we have the same base, we can make their exponents equal to each other. And we're going to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And so it turns out that x equals a fourth. The last two, we're going to solve using the calculator. So the first thing I did was I put this into y1, and then I put this into y2. So the graph for this one, this is 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, and so on. So this is y equals negative 2, and then this is our graph. So what we're looking for are these two points where they intersect. So that's what I did. I did second intersect. And the first one I get x equals negative 0.92, and then the other side I get x t equal 0.57, and that turns out to be our solutions. I want you to try this one just like we did the last one. So press pause, solve it, and then play to see the solutions. So once again, I took the left side, and I put it into y1. 
and then I took the right side and I put that into Y2. Then what happened, you see, is here's, here are my two graphs and they only intersect at one place. So it turns out that my solution, just one, is approximately negative 2.19. Thank you.